Well, that'll get your heart racing. Well, good morning, interwebs. My kids always say how much they enjoyed my vlog videos. I haven't done a vlog video in forever. And I was watching some old videos and we joke around because I did vlogs back in 2010. Like, kind of before it was very cool. So my kids always joke around that I was like an old school vlogger. Anyway, um, currently just before 5 a.m. Sun's not quite up yet. I'm going to go for a ride. And then I'm going to take you along with me on my day. It's going to be a busy one. Hopefully a good one. Pretty proud of myself right now. I have been on the struggle bus when it comes to getting up early in the morning. Because really this is the best time to ride is literally as the sun's coming up. And the only time I've been able to really get myself up and going is when I have somebody else that's meeting me. But Wednesday I did it with my dad. Today, on my own. Now, to go bankrupt by getting some gas. like it might be a good thing that I did not choose to ride South Mountain because it looks like it's raining over there right now. It's gorgeous. However, I just realized I left my GoPro at home. So do I take this camera out on the trail with me? Or do I just use my phone for nice shots? Man. Alright, so no GoPro for me this morning, which is a bummer, but uh, it's a gorgeous morning out right now. It is absolutely flawless. Clouds, beautiful. It's going to be a good ride. Well, here I am at the top, well, I don't know if this is the actual top, but this is the high point of this trail, the high noon trail. So I'm going to go down and then back up. I'm not sure how far up I'll go, it kind of depends on time. Man, it is gorgeous. Uh. Well, that'll get your heart racing. I almost ran that guy over. Oh, Lord. You can see my skid mark <laughs> goes from there. All the way down here. Bro, get off the trail, please. Thank you. Don't mean to bother you today, bro, but. Dang, that's a big one. Holy crap. Nothing like a nope rope death stick to make you think every stick on the trail is a snake. Whole rest of the ride like super heightened awareness and I thought like every stick was a friggin snake. I usually think that to a degree anyway when I ride but when you actually see a snake and a big one and you almost run into it, it makes you a little nervous but that downhill section on Scorpion that was a thing of beauty I really wish I had my uh, one of these times I'll remember to bring my GoPro because I haven't gotten video of the updated version of Scorpion. I've got video of me running Scorpion before, but they added a bunch of berms and smoothed it out a lot, and it is a riot now. So anyway, probably gonna take a shower, then get on a phone call with Meta, also known as Facebook. Um, I'm gonna run a couple ad campaigns, and so they've got a consultant that's helping me put that together, and then I'll probably make some breakfast, and then get on with the rest of my day. All right, today has been a super boring day. I realize it's now almost six o'clock and I have barely turned on my camera since I got done mountain biking. And that's as I came home and got on that Facebook call and, or sorry, meta call, and got that all done. And then just did a bunch of like mundane 
stuff on my computer. Made some calls, edited a video. Uh, yeah, so I've literally done nothing particularly entertaining today. And I'm not planning to do much of anything entertaining tonight. Rachel's at work. Josie's got the first night of her show, Cinderella. Uh, Michael's going to see it tonight. She's playing the stepmother. And so I'm home by myself. And I was last night, so I did some extra work. I did some filming. But tonight, I think I might watch some TV. Sometimes my days are not particularly exciting. Eh, it is what it is. Well, let me rephrase that. It started out very exciting. I almost died. Well, okay, not really. I almost ran over a rattlesnake, and that would not have been fun. I went to the grocery store yesterday, and I didn't buy eggs, and I'm out. And I didn't buy peanut butter, and I'm out. So, Cheerios and bananas for breakfast? I mean, this is, it hits like old school vibes from like when I was a kid. But, so I guess I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll tell you what happened last night. Last night, I didn't get anything done, uh, I, except for relaxing a little bit. So I did watch a couple TV shows, um, then Michael got home from seeing Josie's musical, and he and I watched Kenobi and then went down a Star Wars rabbit hole. Took my daughter's friend home, like 10.30 at night, it was storming, awesome, I love a good monsoon storm in Arizona. And uh, went to bed a little bit after that. And about 12.31 o'clock, there's this really bad smell in the house. Like something's burning, which is very unnerving. And my daughter comes in asking what that smell is. It was a familiar burning smell, but also not. It was also one o'clock in the morning, so I was like cross-eyed, not awake. We found it was coming from the dishwasher. And I don't know if just something got down on the heating element or what, but it was stinging to high heaven. Luckily, there wasn't anything else going on. I mean, I did, was worried there was some other kind of something burning in my house, which is very concerning. So I was up wandering around the house. I checked the water heater. I was checking, like, the air conditioner because it smelled through the whole house, which has not done that before, to my knowledge. So, yeah, so that made for a very unpleasant night of sleep. Today's a new day with not my normal breakfast. This should be fun. I've got an open house for my listing in Gilbert uh, in about two hours. Maybe I'll strap my GoPro on. Yeah, I'm gonna strap my GoPro on and film setting up all of my signs. And then we'll time lapse it. Putting out signs is like the least dignified thing a real estate agent does. Because we run up and down the street, probably do a half to a full mile of walking putting out these signs. It's super undignified, but it's what we do. The glamorous, the not so glamorous part of being a realtor. And I'm gonna take you along today. I don't know if this is gonna come through, but good Lord. I've done three weekend, four weekend open houses for this listing. 
And today is by far the worst for putting out signs because it is so muggy. So much moisture in there. I mean, I love monsoon season, but oh, I'm very glad I have sellers that like to keep the house nice and cool. Today at the open house, I've been sitting right by the front window. Of course, it's probably totally blown out. I've been sitting by the front window and my sign is a giant QR code. And it has been like the most genius move I've made recently because I've had multiple, I've seen multiple people today and now normally I don't sit right here looking out the window, but I've seen multiple people pull up, scan it, sit there for a little bit and then drive away. So I don't necessarily want people in the open house unless they can afford to buy the house. So I'd rather have them pull up, scan that, see that it's outside of the price range you're looking at and then just leave. So although it reduces my foot traffic in the open house, it also reduces the number of people that are traipsing through my client's house without the ability to buy it. So good for reducing traffic for my sellers of unqualified buyers, people who can't afford it. A little downside for like lead generation for me, but I've also never had a lot of great luck with lead generation from open houses. It's just, I've not personally had that. I know other people that are very, very successful with open houses. I'm just, that doesn't generate a lot of extra business for me. But, market's changing. It could change and become a good lead generation tool. Who knows? That's it for today. The rest of my night's just going to be filled with editing videos and doing a couple other work things before I got to go pick up Josie from her play and just kind of normal evening stuff. So I think that's it for the fun, interesting stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed my couple of day vlog. I know my kids like it, so this is mostly for them. And I enjoy doing it. And I hope you enjoy my nope rope and the glamorous part of being a realtor. See you guys next time.